Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my everyday makeup. Now, I am no makeup guru and you guys know that I have not been wearing makeup for a very long time. Um, let's say the last year and a half maybe, the most. I don't want to say all makeup, foundation. I've never worn concealer, um, foundation. So I was a person that just did just this part of my face. <laughs> and that's because I was just too afraid of my skin breaking out. I've never had any skin issues and I didn't want to, you know, start having them at an older age. So that's why. So I don't have a lot of stuff here. But I am going to show you guys what I use every day. And I don't, well, I don't want to say every day because I'm not outside every day, but when I go outside. <clears throat> so, I, um, my face is already cleansed with my daily facial cleansing routine. I will link that somewhere over here for you guys to go check that out. Very affordable Neutrogena items that I've been using for a little over a year now. I really like it. Um, and my eyebrows are not done because <sighs> kind of honestly guys, like I went to get my eyebrows done and I was a little freaked out cause it was just too close for comfort for me, but I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll go another month or so, but, um, I do use NARS products for a majority of everything on my face. Mm, yeah, well, concealer and foundation the other stuff is from mac and laura mercier and then just some regular brushes now like i said i am no one's guru so i don't have many brushes um it just worked for me to me this is realistic um uh, <laughs> i've watched some videos and they're like oh this is every day it's still a lot for me. Uh, maybe I just don't have the patience for it. But I'll show you guys what I do. Um, some of the brushes that I do have are from Eco Tools. I don't even know who that is. I do have a MAC brush. And this is 150. MAC 150 brush. Um, I have another brush by Elf Flawless Face Brush. And is this MAC 2? I have a full blush brush. <laughs> so I have some brushes here. I have some from MAC, but not a lot, guys. Because I'm just, like I said, it, I've never really been into foundation and stuff. My mom didn't use it, so... um that's probably why I am the way I am. I just always did my eyes. And to be honest, I've been doing my eyebrows since the sixth grade. But let me just get started. I don't want this to be too long. And I don't want you guys to get bored because, like I said, I don't have a lot of makeup. But, so the first thing I'm going to put on is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Base. I love this, guys. It's a little pricey, but, and it smells really good. So I just use a tad bit of this. I'm going to be looking into my mirror. Um, so bear with me. Once I figure out how to film this, guys, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I don't use a lot of colors on my, on my face. As far as like, you know, my, um, my eye makeup. Okay. I don't use a lot of colors because... I don't know. I just like a, a very natural look on my face. Um, so I let that dry a little bit. And then I go in with my NARS foundation. And this is um, Sheer Glow. And the color is Marquises. So they have the other one, Luminous something. And the bottle is like uh, frosty. Apparently... They're discontinuing that whole line. So that's what they told me at Ulta and Nordstrom's. So if you do use the Luminous, I think it's Luminous something, you might want to 
try finding another alternative because I believe they are going to discontinue it. So, um, I have two different foundations here. I have the Sheer Glow and I have the, this is the Radiant Longwear. I don't know, this one is cool, but I kind of feel like it, um, what's the word? I feel like it makes me... I like it's so it's so much coverage. I don't know. I don't really like super full coverage, so I'm gonna just tap this on my face. This is not how I normally do it. I usually let me see because it was acting up the other day coming out of this squirt thing. Oh, there it goes. See? They wanted me to do it with you. So I'm just gonna use a real technique real techniques brush. Um, to get this on my face. And to be honest, I think I'm still afraid <laughs> to put foundation on. And I think the fear is because I never had skin issues. So, I'm, you know... I don't know. Maybe you guys tell me if this is too little or <laughs> it's enough. And I just put just a little, just a little coverage. Now, I've been using this one since however how long I've been putting on makeup the year. I want to say a year and a half, but it's probably not even a year and a half, guys. I'll be honest with you. Um, but I will tell you this, I haven't had any skin issues with it. So for me, that's a plus. Um, the skincare routine that I do, that line, the Hydro Boost line, um, everything works well with me with the exception of the face scrub. And it's very sensitive to your skin, but immediately the next day, I kind of have like a little breakout and it looked more like a heat rash type of situation so I knew to just discontinue that but everything else is fine so I'm just using a regular eye pencil who is this Revlon color stay um, it comes with a spoolie and this color is what is this dark brown dark brown yeah I usually get this I don't know, like I said, this is very, very affordable. Um, it's very, very affordable. And I just kind of lightly go across. And as you guys can see, my eyebrows are not done. So I'm gonna make them look like they were done. The hair is growing all over the place. Um. And most girls I see do their eyebrows off camera. And I get it because it's so um, nerve-wracking. You're breathing all hard and stuff. You don't want to mess up. Because you know it's not like... You, they're not twins. So one is going to look off from the other. Always. And I think I put too much... And I just get it on, and then I just spool it out. And to be honest with you guys, this, <laughs> I think this is about, how much is this? $3? No, I'm lying. It's probably 10 bucks. I right, $8.99. Yeah. I like it. It's not too harsh. And once you brush through it, I'm sure they don't look the same, but I'm going to fix that. <laughs> so, I usually do that. This one looks a little messy. And um, I'm just going to chat about my... my ow. <laughs> I'm just going to... Alright, so I'm just going to... 
to, I'm going to fix this because it's not, this one doesn't look like this one. But like we said, it is not a twin set. Um, so then I'm going to take my concealer and my little brush and I don't even see it. Where's my concealer brush? Where's my oh, hiding over here? All right, so I'm just going to get my concealer brush for my eyebrows. And the concealer I use, very affordable, is the Pro Girl, LA Pro Girl. And what color is this? This is Beautiful Bronze. So it's pretty dark. Um, I think it goes really well with my skin. And I just kind of take it and I go under here. And kind of bring it down as much as I can. And this would be like a little primer for my eye makeup. And let's get to the other side. And this is pretty much my skin color. Um, I'm not all for the halo effect or whatever they calling it these days. I don't like that. I'm very, very plain. When it comes to the makeup, the makeup, maybe I'll fast forward through this because I can sit here and talk to you guys all day while I'm doing this. I was actually just listening to some music. Um, <laughs> now listen, guys, I'm 40, <laughs> so sometimes. <laughs> Like, the new music, I just can't get with. And I am listening to old rap. You know. I don't know. I just... I don't know. I relate more to the older... The older rap music. Like, Red Man and Method Man. Um, who else? Tupac. Sometimes I still listen to old Queen Latifah. I really do. So these are not twinsies. I can already tell my left eyebrow is coming out better than the right. But whatever. Who cares? All right. So that is what I use for my eyes. Um, I'll let that sit for a second. In the process of me letting that sit I'll take my NARS concealer this is the creamy creamy concealer listen this is the color Caf cafe so cafe dark one is pretty close to my skin um and let me tell y'all this right here I love it. I love this concealer. Okay. And sometimes I'll come down here. I think I got a slight little mustache. So <laughs> I come and I come over here. I don't really. Well, let's try this out. I don't usually come all the way down here. I see girls do it, but as you don't, again, I'm new to this. So if you guys can point me into the direction of someone that's really great, not super advanced, but someone who's still beginner friendly. And like I said, to me, this is normal. Like, <laughs> this is normal. This is uh, something that you can do every day. Um, 
I don't know about contour and stuff. I do have some bronzer that I usually put on. And I might not even be putting it on right, but I like how it looks on me. So I let that sit for a second. I grab my trusty blender, beauty blender, and I spritz it with some of this. And um, that's from MAC. And I just spritz it, dampen it up a little bit and get around here make sure all that's blended in around the eyes i have to be careful because i have on contacts and what'll happen is it'll start moving and then i can't see So can anybody tell me why, hold on guys, contact was all over, can anybody tell me why when we do makeup, we're like, what the face is, now I used to see my mom do it a lot, well, she didn't wear a foundation, but when she would like do like her eyes, she would do she would wear eyeliner and she would wear mascara. Oh, and then at one point she tried to start doing her eyebrows, but that was a catastrophe. It was fine though, because she had beautiful skin, beautiful teeth, and um she really didn't need any makeup, honestly. Oh, she wore lipstick. She wore lipstick. Now I will tell you this. Growing up, she used to come to my school to come pick me up. My mom was like overly sexy back in the day. And she used to come, <laughs> that's probably why I like pumps so much, because she wore a lot of pumps, like a lot, a lot of pumps. And she came to my school once, and she had these pants on, they were like stretch jeans. <laughs> and they had a pair of lips on them, and it said kiss. Oh, can I tell you, embarrassed was I. And then she used to wear her hair like this, I don't even want to call it a mullet, but it was like this headband situation, and she had these curls at the top. She always smelled good. She always had on nice jewelry. Nails were always done. Um, but those pants, Mom. <laughs> I know you're in heaven laughing at me. But those pants, like, it took me down. Okay, so now I'm going to add on some more, uh, sorry, NARS. This is the, what is this one? Oh, Amande. Which I thought was extremely too light for me, guys. But it gives me like a little bit of brightness under my eye. Not too much. And that just, to be honest, I'm telling you, I don't even think I put this on right. And I come across my nose. I don't know what this does, <laughs> but I like it. I don't go up here. Um, I could go up here just for today. I'm telling you, I don't put a lot on. Just a smidgen. I don't think you need a lot. I think if you have really great skin, um, no hyperpigmentation and stuff, I personally would say do the bare minimum. Do the bare minimum. You know, I went to school with some girls and they, um, I seen them years after, like during high school, and they looked really old. They were wearing like full face makeup in sixth grade. My mother wasn't having it. So I let this dry down a little bit. Um, I brought the concealer down on my eye, but I also do have, um, this, what is this, Tarte primer, I don't, oh, sorry, can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah, so what I do is, I just take a little bit of it and put it on my lid, just put a little bit on here. And this is probably wrong too, but hey, it works for me. Do what works for you. Use the makeup that's best for your skin. I'm, I don't really try a bunch of stuff, uh, and that's because I'm not a makeup YouTuber. I focus more on fashion for tall women because I'm tall. Healthy eating 
because I am a vegan and I believe what you put in your body does affect your life and your mind, your brain and all that good stuff. And just some just good old chit chat. So, all right, so let's just let that sit for a second. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dab it with my finger and just kind of get it in. So, what I'm going to do now is, I've been using this palette for like the longest. And I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the Ring Ring the Alarm um, Morph, Morphe palette. And I literally use the same colors all the time. <laughs> all the time. Where's my brush? Is this it? Yeah. It's a little messy looking. So I'm going to take Alert and Siren. That's Alert. And this is Siren. And then I'll probably take Secret. And I want to say it's kind of like my crease area, but I don't know if it's quite my crease. And I just kind of dab it in. I dab it in. And yeah, I don't know. I like, I like makeup, but not enough to do a whole bunch of videos on it. Even skincare. I think women who do skincare videos are amazing because they have to try this stuff out and let you guys know what works and what doesn't work. So they kind of like chanting it. When it comes to like breakouts and stuff. So my camera died, guys. Ha! <laughs> oh, you know what? I had to change my battery pack. Let me drink some water since. I bought this really cool bottle from Amazon. I'll link it below because I really like it. It's very slim. Now, as far as this time on here, it just seems like a short period to drink water. But um, I do notice that I drink four of these a day. So, I'll link it below. I think it's like, with taxes and everything, it's like 32 bucks. But let me continue with my eyes. So, now I'm just going to take, I already put the mixture of Alert and Siren on. I don't know, is that too much, guys? This is what I do every day. And then sometimes I take, like, Secret, and I just go over it just a little bit and that whole cut crease thing that you ladies do i'm not i'm not there yet i'm so not there so i just dab this on and that's it sorry my phone is all right Sometimes I come over here. Does that look like a lot? <laughs> this is what I do. I see people put tape. I don't know. I just, this is, listen. <laughs> this is what Coco does. Um, and after that, I left the concealer on it, which I need to like blend it out now. So I'm just going to spray this. It's been sitting for a while, so I don't know how. Um, I'm just going to spray it. I'm just going to dab that in. Even if I watch some of the makeup videos, it still seems so overwhelming for me. To the point where I'm like, ooh, I know I do this wrong. <laughs> so I watch them sometimes but not all the time um cause it'll make me feel like geez I need a lot I gotta learn a lot and I'm dark skinned so I really don't I don't wanna be out here looking like um you know lighter than what I am I love my skin color the Lord has made me this way. 
I see people contour their nose. I just highlight the center. Um, and that's because I got a chubby nose. And it is what it is. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to take... Did I take the top? Laura Mercier. Sorry. Laura Mercier. And this... Which one is this? Medium deep. They came out with honey. I didn't try honey. Um, I thought maybe I was too too light, too dark for honey. Sorry. And I just dab a little bit in the top really quick. And I have this little powder puff. And I just kind of dab it in. Almost like Trying to get it to like melt into my skin. Okay. I go over my nose. And even this. I probably do this crap wrong too. <laughs> I don't care. As long as I'm not out here. I can look presentable in the street. I don't want to look like I'm super made up. And that's probably. I don't even know if that's enough. Okay. So I put that on. Right. After that. I grab my bronzer, which is um, Morphe Leader. Leader. I don't know if it's gonna. Um, yeah, this is really dark. So I did try the one from Nars, and the one from Nars just wasn't wasn't working for me. It didn't show up at all. So, I took that back. And the good thing about Nordstrom, you can take anything back. So, I'm just going to put it on here. You know who I got this? My sister told me about this, but I was watching... Oh, man, I can't even think of her name. Oh, what is her name? It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, Andrea Renee. Yes. And, you know, I liked her videos. So I told my little sister about her. So she's like our friend in our head. And she mentioned this one. And I was like, oh, I actually like that. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. Or is it looking really crazy? Because here, it doesn't look so crazy. But sometimes I just bring it around. <laughs> If that's even the right way, guys. I listen. Maybe I should go to a makeup class. So I'll leave that like that. And then, oh, you know what? Mm. I usually take some MAC. This is MAC Darkest Deep Mineral. Mineral, um powder and I usually put a little bit of this on because I don't really want it to take away the color on my face um I just put like a little bit just a little bit mm -hmm. <laughs> when you can laugh at yourself right all right so after that, I continue back with my eyes. And where is my stuff? Where's my stuff? Oh. This liquid liner. This is e.l.f. And this is probably $3. And I just take a little bit of it. And I put it over here. Now let me look in this mirror before I mess up. And I just... Bring it across. This you gotta like do it really quiet too. Breathing all hard and stuff. And I just do one eye. Get the other eye. And, like I said, this, to me, 
is very affordable. There's so much drugstore, um, perf um, not perfume, sorry, makeup that you can get for the low low. We breathing all hard, guys. So let that sit. Then, because I have some lashes here, and I'm just going to put on simple lashes. I usually use these. I don't know if you guys can see these. I love these. But I don't feel like putting these on today. So a good everyday one. Uh, the low, low price of, what are these? These are the, why won't this go back in? Oh, sorry guys. These are the ones from Target. Is it gonna, yeah, these are from Target. I just get these and I will wear these when I just wanna be regular schmegula degula. Okay. But, the way I'm feeling today, I could put these 778s on. I don't know. No, I'm just going to put these on. And I have, where's my tweet? I told you, I don't have a lot of stuff, but if something is missing. All right, here we go. And the tweezer that I use is tweezer man so put these on I'm gonna put these on off camera but before I do that I'm just gonna put on some liner and this is Pat McGrath can you guys see that Pat McGrath which I'm not too fond of this one I don't know but I just put it just to give me a little color so when I put the lashes on. Yeah, and that's it. What is your guys what are you guys' favorite makeup brand or do you wear makeup or not? Let me know what you guys think. I mean, let me know what you guys use, sorry. And I will use these here. Get these on my face. And we're good. All right, guys, I got my lashes on. I think they're good. Um, <clears throat> simple, simple lashes. Where's my top? Do you guys clean as you go when you're doing your makeup? I feel like if you don't clean as you go and you end up with a freaking makeup station that looks like a zoo, you probably will never film another video. So I leave that like that. Still have the powder on, guys. Um, I'm just gonna take what is this, Laura Mercier? I've been using this for quite some time now. Can you guys see that name? I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. And I usually put it at my lower lash. is very old 
that I've been using for a long time. Smolder by MAC. And I just put a tiny, tiny bit on. When I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. Just like a smidget. And finally, I'm going to take off my powder. Right? And I'm going to put on a little bit of blush. I have this blush by NARS also. And let me show you guys this. I have a MAC one too that I haven't used in a while. It's Savage. Um, let me show you guys the color. Let me actually open it up. Can you guys see that? So I'll just put a little bit of that on. quick well actually I have like one more step since that's all on I take my studio fix and I and then I try to fan it and voila for that then I will take my Mac chestnut. You guys, everybody knows chestnut. Chestnut around the lips as my liner. Make sure I get it. My lips are very pink in the center. I get that from my dad. I think I need to sharpen this a little bit. So, <laughs> and then this is enough. I don't know how the ladies do it all the time with the makeup. And then my two favorite lipsticks from MAC. Uh, one is photo and one is myth photo is a natural brown color love it and I usually just I like it I have a NARS liquid one and it's too dark Cause it almost looks. Mm -hmm. I think it's just too dark for the lips, for for me. I think it'll look really nice on someone who have like a caramel skin color. Um, or maybe I'm just not that fancy when it comes to makeup. <laughs> oh, and then myth is this. Myth is very very light, but I only put it in the center, like a, just a little bit. And it just gives me a little bit of light in the center. And that's it, guys. 
So I am going to come back, dress up, probably this off of my head, probably my hair up in a neat bun, and show you guys the finished look. And let me know what you guys think. So give me a second. Let me just finish getting dressed, or at least doing my hair, um, so you guys can see how this looks. And let me know what you guys think. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I am completely done with my look. I'm going to actually take some photos today. Um, and I'll let you guys know how it comes out. Let me know what you guys think. This is my everyday makeup. Um, honestly, this is something that I think anybody can do. I honestly feel that because I'm so new at makeup, I can probably teach somebody this small routine. Um, like I said, there are beginner-friendly other videos out there that are probably easier than this. But for a person in her 40s, well, 40, um, I think this is something that I can kind of do with everyday, with my everyday life, working and stuff and just kind of doing, you know, adult things. So, let me know what you guys think. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. Um, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Also, guys, for all of my followers, head over to my Instagram. You'll see a lot more of my fashion stuff daily. Um, and that is Coco underscore Styles underscore New York. I'll put it across the bottom for you guys. Go ahead over. Follow me on there so you can see stuff. And also my blog, which launched... Hmm... Maybe three weeks ago I launched a blog. And it's specifically for tall women. I do have some lifestyle stuff in there. Like um, like restaurants for vegans and stuff like that. Not much. But you'll see like some tips and tricks for shopping. Um, tips for jeans. If you wanted to go check that out. And I also have a blog post coming up with shoes for tall women. So if you didn't watch that video, you can go read the article. <laughs> And you can jot those down that I have. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, please comment below anything you would like to see. And if you thumbs this up or even down, at least I know that you watched it. So I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Bye.